Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. Markets have closed for the weekend, the three-day weekend here on the mainland for the celebration of Independence Day. This is Gary Wagner, July the 1st, and this is the Daily Report for Silver, our weekend review. Under aggressive trading, once again, we did see the market trade lower, gold trading off 12 plus dollars silver recouping a little bit towards the end but still trading off about 87 cents to close at 33.85 as we look at our screens you can see that we have a 360 minute chart four bars per day 722 candlesticks per day our daily and then our weekly here we talked about a couple of factors yesterday and specifically what we were looking at were different support levels and where I thought this correction might take us to. What we are doing is taking a look at our daily chart. Now this is in Henkin format, I will reverse it in a second. But the one thing that I talked about was really this long term trend line that I felt as long as we maintain underneath this we are in a corrective mode. I also believe when we take a look at the markets and our Elliott Wave count itself that we are now in a corrective phase. As you can see, this particular Henkin candle has turned red and is indicative of lower prices. So, where do we think the market itself might go? As you can see, we do have good support in this area this is the area of our 50% retracement, and this is a 50% retracement of this rather large move when we saw silver at around $16 all the way up to our record top just below $50 per ounce. It seems as though this has been holding. However, my belief is if we enter, and I believe we have a flow full-blown correction, our next target area has got to be this particular area, which is a 61% retracement, and the number on that is $30.17. That would be the target that I believe we could see silver go to. Now, when we look at our long-term charts, you can see how this particular area was resistance. In other words, as this market was making its climb up to these record tops before it got there it absolutely had a couple of areas where it stalled and as you can see right in here we had a double top in which silver was unable to take out that thirty dollar mark in silver that in fact saw a retracement from thirty back down to about twenty six before it took its long historic rise back up so therefore, it wouldn't surprise me, of course, as we take a look at these different support and resistance levels, here you can see this particular level, 3393 being support. You can also see it right here as support and tentatively here as support. But I believe that if we continue along the lines of this correction, we will in fact see it break below that particular area. Now, when we take a look at our different time cycles in terms of our daily average chart as you can see they have at this point all gone red meaning sell or downtrend shortest time frame is 360 you can see that as the market moved up you got that consolidating set of Hankins which is the small bodied these doji like candles it goes red and as you can see the body size begins to build we drop the lower wicks and we have nice body size in terms of these last couple of candles. That's indicative of a market which is turning, moving to a bearish stance and increasing the actual energy that it has or the strength of that trend. Same can be said when we go to our half a day charts. Here each candlestick represents a half a day in trading. So this is today's trading here. And as you can see, a very similar activity. As the market comes up, you have that absence of tails here and here. But you get a consolidating candle. This is that smaller doji like here. Goes to red and then we lose the wick. 
which signals when you couple that with the larger body size a increase in terms of the strength of the trend up to our daily when we look at our daily you can see that that has just gone into a red candle it's a very small bodied candle and with our weekly we have been in a defined downtrend because we are taking a lot of the noise out of the market since we hit that record top we talked about a pattern on Monday that was three peaks in a doomed house and we looked at that again in gold today as I said when we talked on Monday I don't believe we have the same scenario in silver however it's going to give us an indication of where in fact this market might go and if we do get the kind of deep correction that we certainly could have what type of area we'll be looking at we're going to take a deeper look at that on Tuesday after the three-day holiday happy Independence Day for those of you who live in the mainland Canada Day happy Canada Day for Canadians and my best wishes to all of my subscribers have a great weekend. We'll talk to you next week for another daily update and review. Bye-bye.